school staff need some basic knowledge about diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease that affects adults and children. It cannot be cured, but it can be managed. Diabetes management is 24-7. You have to time and balance your meals, exercise, insulin, or other diabetes medications, and monitor blood glucose levels. Generally, food, stress, illness, or injury can cause blood glucose levels to go up. Insulin and other diabetes medications and physical activity make blood glucose levels go down. Glucose, also known as sugar, gives us energy. Glucose comes from food, especially carbohydrates. It's carried from the blood into cells in the body by a hormone called insulin. People with type 1 diabetes don't make insulin, while people with type 2 diabetes don't make enough insulin and or the insulin does not work properly. With type 1 diabetes, which used to be called juvenile diabetes, the immune system is involved. For some reason, the body destroys cells in the pancreas that make insulin. This type of diabetes is called type 1 diabetes, and it is when there is no insulin being produced by the pancreas. It's the most common type in children and adolescents. The treatment for type 1 diabetes is maintaining blood glucose levels with a balance of food, physical activity, and insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin, or the insulin being produced isn't helping glucose enter the cells. Type 2 used to be referred to as adult onset diabetes, but is increasingly being seen in younger people. Inactivity and being overweight are risk factors for type 2 diabetes. So exercise and good nutrition are important to prevent and treat type 2 diabetes in youth. Sometimes oral medications, insulin, or other injectable medications are also required. But whether it's type 1 or type 2 diabetes, the problem is the same. The body's own insulin isn't doing what it needs to do to move glucose from the blood to the cells where it can be used as energy. Not enough insulin means there's too much glucose in the blood because it isn't getting from the blood into the cells in the body. This is known as hyperglycemia or high blood glucose. Too much insulin can cause the opposite problem, hypoglycemia or low blood glucose. Diabetes management is all about keeping blood glucose levels in a safe range. Not too high, but not too low either. This means having access to the necessary tools, like a blood glucose meter, insulin, food, glucagon, and sometimes other diabetes medications, and to the school nurse and school diabetes team, which can include teachers, the principal, school secretary, cafeteria workers, and others in order to maintain the proper balance. For the student's diabetes needs, a plan should be documented in the student's diabetes medical management plan, which includes physician's orders for the student in the school setting and other written care plans and distributed to the school diabetes team. Diabetes can be serious in the short term if blood glucose levels become too low. Over the long term, high blood glucose levels can lead to complications like heart disease, stroke, blindness, amputation, and kidney failure. This is why good care is important. While diabetes is serious and does require 24-7 care, there's no need to be frightened or intimidated. The needs of the student can be safely and easily met when the school diabetes team has been properly trained and works together.